you guys won't believe what I have in the palm of my hand right now. I know it looks like an alien from another planet, but I can assure you, it comes from Earth and it's sitting in my hand right now. Right here is the moment I caught it. It was inside a rotting log. I was actually looking for ants at the time, but when I peeled back the bark on an old piece of wood, this is what I found. I had never seen anything like this. It was squirming around in circles and it was huge. Immediately, I put it inside my collection vial and took it home. I couldn't wait to figure out what it actually was. Here you can see the full size of the creature that I caught. As you can see, it's shiny, and if we turn it around, its back almost has a bumpy like texture with many ridges. I was not sure what this was at first, but I figured out it must have been some pupae of some sort that is molting in order to become an adult insect. After doing some preliminary research, I figured out that this must be the pupae of some sort of beetle, meaning that the pupae is the part of the life cycle where an insect turns from a larvae into its adult form. You can see that if I touch it, it actually wriggles around, which I was not expecting, because in an ant pupae, they fully form a cocoon and they do not move during that entire time. If you look closely at its side, you can see some long antennae growing out of its head. You can also see its six legs and some sort of other organ that's protruding out, but I'm not sure what it is. Anyway, I wanted to see this pupae grow up and turn into adult, so I had to make a proper setup for it. I took a plastic cup and filled it with some dry coconut substrate. I kept wetting it with my syringe until I had to get it to the desired consistency. I had found this pupae in a rotting log, so that means it was in a pretty humid place, so I wanted to replicate the conditions under which I found it in as close as possible. I needed to get the humidity just right so it wouldn't rot, but then it also wouldn't dry out and die on me. After a while, the coconut substrate was at the perfect consistency, and in went the pupae. I decided to make a little wall around it with the coconut substrate since I wanted to make sure that it wouldn't dry out and since in the log it was surrounded by wood and not just in the open air. Carefully I pushed some of the substrate up against the pupae and it kept wriggling around a little bit. But hopefully that meant that I was doing something right and that it would be happy in its new home. This was what it looked like once I was done. I couldn't believe that I was holding this in my hand. It really does look like an alien from another planet, and I can't wait to see what type of beetle comes out of this. I placed a lid on the container to make sure the substrate wouldn't dry out, but then I had to poke some holes in it to make sure it would have air circulation and it wouldn't start rotting in there due to a lack of oxygen. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and the secret project I've been working on for the past couple of weeks is finally done, so I'll be revealing that on Friday. If you did enjoy, please be sure to subscribe, because you don't want to miss what happens with the project I'm going to be revealing, and I can't wait to see what happens when this pupa is finally ready to emerge as an adult. Now that I had pretty much finished poking holes in the lid, it was time to leave the container in a dark place and wait to see what comes out of it.